on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel and jump over to Facebook and find me over there as well, please. Okay, I am back. I am back. Sorry about that little hiccup. It's looking like I was having some internet issues, so I am now figured I'm figuring out this iPad. Found out how to go to my settings and found out I was back on slow speed internet. So we should be back on high speed. When you pop on, tell me, hey, let me know you're here. So what are we doing tonight? What kind of chalking do y'all want to do? Hello, Miss Emily. Hello, Miss Lauren. Welcome, welcome. So it is St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. This morning when I got up, I was like, oh, we'll do a St. Patrick's Day transfer tonight. That game is hard. Why is it hard? Shouldn't be hard. Oh, you just have to stay on top of it to see who's going to be the last one. Ms. Rhea is talking about a game I've got going on over on the VIP page. So I did post a game while ago on the VIP page. So, happy St. Patrick's Day. So, like I said, I was thinking this morning I was going to do a St. Patrick's um, project. And then I slam forgot about it. I was getting everything ready. And like about two minutes before I went live, I was like, oh, that's right. It's St. Patrick's Day. Oh, well. So, you know what we're going to do tonight? I can't come. Oh, you're just because y'all going back and forth commenting. We're playing the party right now. Obviously, I cannot go hit the magic word, right? I'm over here. FYI for you. But tonight, we're going to be playing around with our club transfer. So, what is this club about? This is our happy mail for club members. So, it's like a, um, a club subscription in a box. Well, it's not a box. It's an envelope. Comes to your mailbox once a month in this pretty little envelope your happy mail so our club is a $19.99 every month you get an exclusive transfer that's only for club members as well as three pay singles so that you can coordinate something beautiful with this package okay of course these are transfers these are reusable transfers they're good 8 to 12 times you can use these on a wide range of surfaces Oh, Emily's saying she can't comment anymore because she was like spamming. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you go into Facebook jail? I've done that before. So, this is our club. Um, and on top of your monthly exclusive transfer, you get exclusive sales just for club members. You get flat rate shipping of $4.95 for anything you purchase online in my online store. Doesn't matter how heavy, how many jars of paste. Those paste are kind of heavy when you buy like 10 of them, right? They're heavy. They're three ounces each. And then you can get big, huge chalkboards. Then things are heavy and big and bulky and measurements are crazy. I know because I've had to ship some before. So $4.95 for all of that. That's wonderful just in the shipping. Okay, so our special for March for club members is creamy dreamy paste okay it's coming mm -hmm. out everything now in our paste is our new formula and our club members can pick between one triple pack there's two different sets of triple packs of three different sets of paste that you can pick one of and 25 percent off so that's pretty cool so you might want to think about our club so what is in this envelope you want to see what march transfer is this is it. Wild and free. So this is only available for club members. I had someone ask me earlier. They saw one of my club members had posted their, um, their was it their transfer that they got? Yeah, it was their club transfer that they got in the mail. And then they got their creamy, dreamy pack. They got a little um, all my active club members for February. In March, they also had a sample pack of um, our paste. So they got some sample paste and they got a cute little, it was bigger than a mini. Our little minis are like about two by two um, transfers. But these are a little bigger than the minis. 
and that went to um, our club members as well, and that was just for club members. Those were exclusive transfers once again. They're like, oh, I want one of those, and I'm like, sorry. Got to be a club member. Club members were the ones that got all that. So here we go. This is our March transfer for club members. Walden free. Like I said, it comes with three pay singles for club members. Now, the downside for designers is we do not get the pay singles. They don't send us the pay singles because they know we've got all kind of paste, right? You got a little extra prize. Yes, ma'am, you sure did. A little happy mail. Um, so we don't get the pay singles. So some of those pay singles I don't have. So what comes with this one? Let's just say you join the club tonight or you join the club tomorrow. They'll go ahead and they're, they're debit you the, the $19.99 and then they'll ship that bad boy for you in the mail. And you're going to get it's tied, which is like a dark purple, a dark, a dark turquoise, a dark turquoise. Um, you get um, guava, which is like an orangey color, an orangey peach. And then you get sage, which is like a light green. So that's what comes as your pay singles. So what I've got that we're going to play with tonight is this one is an old um, light green that is retired now, but it's pretty close to sage. So I brought it back to life because it was pretty hard. So I brought it back to life for us to use as our sage. And then I opened up some of our brand new shimmers. This one is Shimmer Splash. I just placed an order last night and I ordered more. So I'm like, we're going to play with these new ones. So this is Shimmer Splash. See all those metallic flakes? And then I opened up um, Shimmer Melon. So there's Shimmer Melon. That's another. It's got the shimmers. You've got the um, little um, glitter flakes in it. And it's like a peach. So that's what we're playing with tonight. This is my take on... The, um, the transfers that comes in the kit for my club members. Okay. So what we're also going to do is we're going to put this on a canvas. Does anybody like do any of this on a canvas? I love canvas. So this is just a canvas that you can pick up at an art, at um, an art supply, Walmart, whoever carries them. And then we're going to do what's called a reverse canvas. I love reverse canvases. Does anybody know what a reverse canvas is? Do you know what a reverse canvas is? You love the shimmers? I know I love shimmers too. So what we're going to do is, okay, these are all great and glorious, but I kind of like my art to be framed. And I love inexpensive art because you know how dirt cheap canvases are. So we're going to take it apart and we're going to frame it. So let me show you how we're going to do that. Let's come on down. So we're going to use my little knife here and we're going to cut. See these staples? Now, some people take these staples out. If you want to take a staple remover and take the staples out, you go for it. You go for it. I'm going to take a knife, and I'm just going to cut it right here on the other side of these staples. Just like this. Now, when you get to the corners, the corners are a little trickier doing it my way because these are like doubled here. So, you're going through a little bit more canvas here. So, you got, you got to work it a little bit here on the corners. And this staple's pretty close to the end. So is anybody having bad weather today? Anyone with bad weather? 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 I keep on getting severe weather texts on my phone. And so far, it's okay. But I'm just curious on what's up with that. Granted, I haven't turned on the TV and looked at the weather, the weather channel. Watching TV and turning on the TV is just not my thing. I don't got time for no TV. Who's got time for TV? I work a full-time job and come home and chalk the rest of the night. I don't got time for no TV. So what do you think is easier, cutting this apart like this or trying to take those staples out? What do you think? It was beautiful today. We had a very overcast, gloomy day. 
the wind's been blowing but you know I've been stuck inside so um, I got that weather alert on my phone and I left my um, umbrella out in the car so I asked one of my patients, I said, how's the weather out there? Is it getting ready to storm? Do I need to run out and get my umbrella before it starts storming? And they're like, oh, it's okay out there. And I'm like, okay, good. Good, because I don't have my umbrella. If I have an umbrella, right? It should stay in the car, right? Now you don't have to tag the canvas off. You could you could so chalk this on here if you wanted to, which I have done. But what I'm going to recommend if you just chalk it on the frame is you're going to need to build the inside up. Let me get this corner here. Got to get the corner. Remember I told you the corners are tricky. Corners are tricky because they got that double fold there. And that one just don't want to come loose. Come loose. What's up? Okay, my goodness. My, okay. You see how this is indented here? So when you're chalking on this side, then it's going to move. It's going to give. So if you're going to keep it on the frame, then grab a couple of towels and kind of put towels in here so that it's not going to give as much. That's going to give you more of a firmer surface to chalk on. So what color do we want to do the frame in? You saw my color palette. We're going to keep it kind of spring colors. So we've got the dark blue. That's one of the shimmers. We've got the, um, the sage inspiration color. That's like that light green. And then we've got the, um, the peachy color. So what color should this frame be? Our canvas is white, of course. So do we want to um, do our frame like black? Do we want to do it, you know, like a green springy color, a yellow color? What do you think? What do you think we should do for the, um, the frame? I'm not going to stain it. We're going to do some of the chalk paste to color it. Anybody want to throw me their two cents on what color this frame is? As you see, it's like unfinished wood. Unfinished wood. Now, when I stain my frames, I like to stain them outside because, you know, that stuff kind of sinks. So I don't want to bring my stain inside with that smell. So it's all outside. All we're doing is cutting this canvas off the frame. So we call a reverse canvas because we're going to reverse it. Okay, we're loose. We are free. Free. You think white? Now that means you're going to have a white frame on a white um, canvas. So you're going to have white on white. So do you want white on white? Because eventually, this frame is going to be like here, and we're going to have our project inside. So, that actually kind of looks cute, kind of unfinished, since it is like springy. Okay, so Lisa said white, and then she says, nah, and she found out it's going to be white on white. 
Anybody else want to throw two cents? Okay, so we've got this cut away. So if you were going to stain this, you could go ahead and just take this outside and stain it just like you would stain any type of wood. And then I normally let my stains kind of like sit overnight. And then, you know, you can apply them to your project. So we'll figure out if we're going to leave this unfinished or if we're going to chalk it. We'll just put that aside. So now I've got my... Um, my canvas out, so now it's nice and flat. I don't have to worry about it giving there in the center because it's flat. And we're gonna use our cute little wild and free. And then canvas is kind of like fabric. So I don't fuzz when I put it on canvas because you know, it's got that little bit of a texture in it. And some people even talk about it kind of bleeds a little bit, so you, um, don't use ink make sure it's paste and I'm curious on how the new paste is going to work because the new paste is thinner than our old paste so that's going to be interesting seeing how that works since it's a different consistency I don't know if I have used any of the shimmers on um, canvas before because the shimmers are a thinner consistency as well so I don't know. We'll find out here in a minute, won't we? We'll find out here in a minute. So you want to make sure it's attached nice and tight because remember our shimmers are going to be thin and I don't want any of it to bleed underneath. And then if you were to go to our online catalog and go look at Club Couture, then you're going to see that the words are done in that um, tide color, which is the turquoise color. So we're gonna do it in our shimmer, our new shimmer, our shimmer splash. And then we've got some leaves here. We're gonna do the leaves in our sage inspiration. And then the flowers on the, um, the club picture, they done it in guava. So this is the guava. This is actually really guava. And I think we're going to maybe alternate. We may do some guava and then we'll do some with the shimmer melon just to give us some contrast in colors. And we may throw in one or two flowers with this pretty color. We'll see. The, um, the picture that the company did did not use this on any of the flowers. But we'll see if we want to throw some flowers in in that color. Because, you know, I kind of, what do you think? You think we should add some turquoise in here, some teal? Or should we just try to predominantly keep it the club colors? What do you think? What do you think? Anybody want to throw me some two cents? Should we predominantly keep it the colors that come in the kit? Or do you want to kind of throw in some extra colors? So I'm going to go ahead and grab our Sage Inspiration color. I don't know. I may need to add a little more water to him. Because remember, I said he was a little dried out, and I had to bring him back to life. I opened him up, was it yesterday? Day before yesterday, I needed a sage. And he was super dried out. So I'm like, okay, he's beyond hope today. So I threw some water in there and just let him kind of sit and percolate and kind of absorb some of that water. And then I come back periodically and I try to, it's kind of like making mashed potatoes and your masher and your mixer doesn't move and you're having to mash them with like forks and everything. You're having to do that to kind of bring some of the paste together. So keep it the colors that come. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. So I think I'm going to do the bottom part of this and then I'm going to peel it up just because this is, um, not as thin as it needs to be, so I don't want it to dry out, but I'm kind of doing the green. This is the Sage Inspiration. 
I think that's as far as we're going to go. And let's just kind of peel this back and release this part just because I don't want it to dry. So that just kind of released those green bits and pieces here and there. So I don't know. Can you see? Can you see all my chunks in here? Remember, I said I was trying to use it like when you have mashed potatoes and you're trying to mash your potatoes up. So I haven't got all the clumps out of it, but I got enough of it out I could use it for tonight. So if you ever open up a jar of paste and it's dry and it looks like concrete, don't throw it away. Just spritz some water in it and just kind of let it sit. And then you can come back to it, you know, later on the day. Give it a couple of hours. Come back and look. And, you know, you may need to spritz some more water in it. And then eventually you'll be able to kind of loosen it off the bottom of the jar. So then I'll loosen it up and I'll spritz some more water on it. And you're, you're just letting the water get in there so that the water can absorb everywhere. And then I take my little popsicles and then I start breaking them up kind of like I'm trying to mash potatoes. Mash potatoes. I'm trying to mash them up. And that's how I bring them back to life. Okay, so this should take care of all of our sage colors. There's one. I missed one. I missed a leaf over here. Okay. So now we're going to go on to our flowers. And since we're going to keep it kind of kit colors... I am still going to use my two colors. Now, the uh, the kit for our club members is going to come with a guava. So, this is the guava that comes as your pay single. Like I said, we're going to play around with our shimmers today. So, this is our shimmer melon. It's one of our new shimmers. So, we're going to incorporate these two colors. Just checking his consistency. He, this one's like brand new. I just opened him up. Look at that creaminess. Let's get us some squeegees. So down here, we have two flowers right on top of each other. What I'm going to do, well, you could do that one of two ways. You could use like a detail tool to kind of, when you get into top spaces, if you need a detail tool. This is our sh um, Shimmer Melon. It's got the built-in glitter. Okay, remember, we're going to kind of alternate to give us some, some different coloring contrast here with these flowers. Well, there's another stake that needed to be green. Stem, not steak. I make up my own words. I make up my own words. So, every time I go live, I give you guys a share word. If you would be gracious enough to share this video over into your timeline, spread the chalk love. Then you can enter my weekly little game. Let's see, tonight is Wednesday, right? So, this is a new game that starts today. You can share every day, all the way up until Tuesday. 
6 o'clock p.m. Central Time is when my game ends. So you can get up to seven entries total if you share every day. But you know what? You don't have to share every day. Share whenever you think about it. I'd love for you to share every day. But, you know, you only need one share to win, right? It's kind of like playing the lottery. You only need one to win. Of course, you know, the more times you play, the better the odds. So our share word tonight is going to be March Club. March Club. Because this is our March Club Couture Transfer. Hashtag March Club will get you an entry. That easy. I'm going to go ahead and start peeling this back just to kind of release it out of my transfer. You don't want it to dry in there. Can you see the flowers coming to life? Thank you, Rhea, for sharing. So I, I went to a point, and then I'm coming up here to the top and peel it back because I don't want to peel the whole transfer off because I don't want it to, you know, I want it to line back up. So you only peel it to a point and then stop and then peel the other point. So now we're going to come back with our Shimmer Melon and do these opposite flowers. So we're going to have some new stuff. Well, I won't say new stuff. We're going to have more stuff come back in stock tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to be doing a restock. So if you've been waiting on some stuff to come in stock, um, we've got some cute little wings. I don't know. Have you guys saw the cute little wings that came out? Those look super cute on like t-shirts and shirts. So the wings come back in stock. I think the wings are coming back in stock tomorrow. Once I get a restock alert on what's coming in, I'll throw it over in the page so everyone knows. Normally restocks come back in at 4 o'clock Central Time. It's normally when they reload them. You know, unless it's a launch day, which tomorrow's not a launch day. It's just a restock day. So, yeah, all of our club members this month gets to pick um, a triple pack. There's two different kits that you can choose from. One's like really bright, vivid colors, and then the other one's kind of like soft, subtle colors. But you can get those as a club member for 25% off retail. Okay, I think I've done all my flowers. Let's release them off of here. So our Club Couture is $19.99 per month. And doing crafting always is a great de-stressor after a busy day at work. You know, you just kind of get yourself away from the family, get a little you time, and just create. Of course, it's super easy. If you can butter toast on a piece of bread, you can chalk. Okay, so let's clean us a um, squeegee. Because we are ready for our other shimmer. Isn't that shimmer melon gorgeous? I'll get it close to you shortly so you can see it shimmering. Because it's got all those metallic flakes in here. Got built-in glitter. You close up these lids. Now you don't want your chalk paste to be sitting with the lids open for an extended period of time. So our share word tonight is March Club. Hashtag March Club gets you an entry into my share game. I do also, I'm also playing a game today over in the VIP page. It's my main VIP page. So I do have two VIP pages. One of them I'm trying to consolidate into the main one. So you want to be in the Chalk Crafts by Becky 2. Chalk Crafts by Becky 2. Because my online one, I'm trying to consolidate that one over into the other one. 
Okay, here is our Shimmer Splash. So in the kit, this one is more like a dark turquoise. So this is a little different color-wise, but it's close. Kind of close, but, you know, we're playing with the shimmers today. I don't have a Tide. I did order a Tide last night. So I ordered me um, a nice little selection of the new Creamy Dreamy paste. Plus, I'm running out. <laughs> I'm running out. I'm running out of paste. I'm running out of singles. I did get uh, my Trek graphic up. I think I told you guys that I was putting together a um, vintage truck kit. I was going to do it with little paste packets, a paste packet of six paste. But um, last night when I was going to put the graphic together, those paste packets are sold out right now. They're out of stock. So I'm like, well, fooey. So I had to change the graphic up. So my graphic, um, I, it'll be over in the VIP page. And it's just um, three singles. You pick your color on your singles. So I'm not able to do the packet of paste in the six pack. None of the one I was showing y'all anyway. So when you see that graphic, it is a little different and that's why. So I changed it to just three paste singles and you pick your colors. So has anybody decided if we want to paint our frame for those that are joining on and we're not here when we started? We're doing a reverse canvas. We've already taken the wood part of the canvas off and we're going to figure out if we're going to leave it unfinished or if you guys want to paint it a color to go with this. So I threw that at y'all earlier. if we need to add let's add a little bit more down here on this R okay let's look at it again better better don't you think that R looks better now I just kind of looked at my words, see if I liked them all, if I felt something needed another little hit. I think we need a little hit here. Now the shimmers, um, you do have to press harder to get the shimmers because those metallic flakes to get it through that mesh. So just kind of take a look, see and see if you like it. If not, just do like I just did there because it's not all the way off. Hit it with another little coat. Okay. Gonna wash this bad boy. I can reuse it eight to 12 times. Make some nice little gifts. If you're a little crafter and you sell finished goods, you can make lots of stuff off of one transfer. So this is what we've got. We've got wild and free. Let's see if I can get, can you see? Oh, you can see that blue shimmering. Can't you see the blue? Let's see if I can get the melon so you can see the melon shimmering. I think you can see the melon. That's one of those um, peachy colors, the lighter peachy color. So can you get the shimmers? The blue, you can really see shimmering all that glitter. Beautiful. Okay, so that's that. So here is our wood frame. So are we going to keep it unfinished? Or are we going to want to paint it. Do you want to paint it like maybe that blue color? Or do you like it unfinished? Or we could look at maybe um, the green. Do you want to do it green? Leave it unfinished is what Rhea says. Anybody else wants to throw in their two cents? You want to leave it unfinished? Do we want to paint it? Now, you know, like I said earlier, if it was nice and I had time, then, you know, I would have taken this outside and stained it. Okay, Lisa says unfinished. Patty says blue. Blue. 
love light colored wood. Well, we were talking about painting it once, once the very beginning, but I looked at it and I'm like, it actually looks kind of pretty and finished. Okay, Deborah says paint it, but what color, Deborah? What color to paint it? The green, the blue. I don't think we need to paint it. The um, Let me show you what else we're doing. So this may help you on the coloring the frame. Once we get this together, I've got some cute little wood flowers and we're gonna probably throw some wood flowers in here. So we may, I don't know, you can tell me what you think if we want to, um, we still want to paint it. I don't know what we're gonna do with my wood flowers, but I grabbed some little flowers for us to kind of accessorize with. We'll figure out what we wanna do with them. So, you know, if that makes a difference, I don't know if I like that one. Maybe that one. I don't know. So what we'll do is, so we took this, this was a canvas. I've cut it um, out of the frame. This is what was in the back of this. So those that came on and if that wasn't here, this was just a canvas that you can buy in the store that's kind of like that. We cut it out of the frame. The frame was in the back end of it, and we're going to use that as our frame. So this is what we call a reverse canvas. Big difference with the flowers. Well, I thought about that, and I'm like, well, let me just, and we can actually maybe glue them on the frame. Who says they have to go on the inside? We could glue them out here on the frame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy together. So what I do is I take a staple gun, and this might be a little loud, so sorry. Let's get it so you can see what I'm doing. So I take a staple gun, and I just staple this bad boy. Super duper hard, right? So once I get one on, then I start making sure I've got it nice and tight. Some on the canvas and some on the frame. Okay, so I've got that all stapled in. Now you see all this hanging over, all this yuck. So now we're going to take my little knife, whatever done my little knife, and now we're going to trim this bad boy. Kind of like how we took it off. Remember we took it off on the other side of the staples. I said if you wanted to take the staples out, feel free to do so. You know, when I start working on the corners, the corners are a little tricky when you take it off doing it my way, but I think it's still faster than trying to get all those staples out. No, thank you. I'm all about working smarter, not harder. Smarter, not harder. So our share word tonight is March Club because we are playing around with our Club Couture for March. So this transfer is an exclusive transfer just for our club members. It's $19.99 to be a club member per month. You get an exclusive transfer, three pay singles. You're in the hippest, hottest DIY club, of course. You get flat rate shipping on anything that you would like to buy I'm on my online store. So it's $4.95 flat rate shipping. You also get exclusive club member discounts and specials. 
So for March, they've got a promo going on with a new Creamy Dreamy Paste. They've got two packs put together. They're triple packs that club members can get for 25% off. Ordering in March. Oh man, I haven't even heated up my glue gun. That's not smart, is it? This is where we're at, wild and free. Now, some people don't like the staples here. You know, they're there. Depends on your brand of um, canvases that you buy. Some some doesn't have these, some do. So that kind of that kind of differs. So it all boils down to you know your canvas that you get. But for me, you know, like I said, these are very inexpensive. And it ends up being really pretty. Don't you think that's really pretty being on canvas, guys? Cool beans, right? Put some on the canvas and in the frame. I like the natural with the theme. So my glue gun right now is not hot. But let's play. Let's play. I don't know, they may almost be too big. These are kind of big. What do you think about something like that? I think the flowers are almost too big to be inside. I think it's too big because seeing it's kind of in the way here. But if we put it out here, plus it hides the staples. And I could put one on the frame and then maybe one, one in the frame. What do you think about that? If we put one on the frame and then one in the frame. We're kind of getting some of that dimension. You like something like that? Rhea says yes. I know you're supposed to do three, but all these flowers were so big. Should we do three in one corner and two in the other? It's going to say I didn't bring three and three, but actually I did. There's another one here. Oh, I don't know. That may be too much. That might be too much. I think this one's bigger. I love these flowers. These are the wood flowers I got um, on sale. It's my first time buying the solo flowers. You like the three? You like both corners with three or just one? Okay, Rhea says three in one corner, two in the other. I was kind of thinking that three may be overkill too. Yeah, I think I kind of like that better. Okay, let's see if this glue gun's ready. So has anyone done a reverse canvas before? I 
I am loving this plexiglass table, guys. It is so easy to clean this table. Loving it. Did you guys notice? Did I tell you guys that I had the plexiglass on the table now? I have many times. It's so easy. Okay, so here we go. Wild and free on a reverse canvas with some solo flowers. I don't know. I almost think it needs maybe a little small one. Maybe I'll go find a little bitty one and see what it would look like down there. Okay, this is our Club Couture transfer of the month. If you're interested in more information about my club, uh, then put that in the comments. You can find me over at chalkcouture.com slash craftsbybecky and the number two slash club. But I will put that up above in the comments for you in case you want to jump over there and read some information about the club. It's a wonderful deal. Hip hop. And there we go. Um, our share word is hashtag March Club. And remember, you can share this once per day to get an entry. If you're watching this on YouTube, jump over to Facebook um, on my business page, and then you can play the little share game over there. Make sure to like and subscribe. Of course, like my business page, guys. It hasn't made it to YouTube yet. It'll be on YouTube shortly because I'm throwing it over there, too. I'm working on my YouTube. I know. I think, Rhea, you're a YouTube subscriber, aren't you? I think you're already subscribed to me over there. I'm trying to build my audience. So you guys have a wonderful night, and I will see you guys on Sunday. Y'all take care.